Hi everyone, thank you for coming. In this session, I'd like to share with you the Smithsonian Library's efforts in looking for new ways to manage identity for its collections with the authority data in a linked data environment. The Smithsonian Institution is the world's largest museum and research complex among its various units. The Smithsonian can claim multiple examples of all four of the letters in claim. 19 galleries and museums, 20 branch libraries, over a dozen archival repositories and a zoo. With a staff body of over 6,000 members, the institution has unrivaled affection for its collections and commitments to services. Members of this body share the passion of its mission, the increase and diffusion of knowledge. The Smithsonian Library has been a participating library in the PCC NACO and BIPCO programs for many years, creating and maintaining high quality authority and bibliographic data. Authority data are used to maintain consistency in headings such as access points and bringing together related names such as works. Data are manually created by experienced and NACO certified cataloging and metadata professionals. Authority data are coded in MARC and locked inside the traditional IOS, which has over the years preventing authority data from optimizing its potential when connecting resources on the web. With different initiative and other linked data efforts, the move to RDF from MARC format for bibliographic data would undoubtedly facilitate content negotiation as structured data communicate directly with web services protocol. Authority data, unfortunately, could have been the cornerstone on which many descriptive queries can be built. But the move to an entity and management environment has lagged behind the bibliographic data. With a conviction of testing out authority in a linked data environment, the Smithsonian Library's management team decided in May 2019 to explore new ways to managing authority data as identity management. The Smithsonian Institute's relationship with Wikimedia Project began in June 2019. Activities has pretty much concentrated on the Wikipedia editor phones. Wikimedians and residents head up pen institutional projects, conducting trainings and topic centric editor phones several, year, several times a year. The Wikidata, on the other hand, is very new to the Smithsonian. Wikidata is a linked data platform repository that has the capabilities to generate graph based representation of vocabulary elements such as classes, properties, values, for the purpose of improving existing access to and a description of collections and services. Wikibase is a software that fuels Wikidata activities. In November 2019, with the introduction to Wikidata by Andrew Lee, a colleague from Wikimedia DC, the Smithsonian could now draw from this group of like-minded colleagues who are interested in Wikidata and authority identity management efforts. Wikidata stores description in a simple form, representing objects, topics, concepts. This simplicity establishes data fingerprint enabling algorithm matching of the basic information required to identify the topic that the item covers to be translated without favoring a particular language, though the platform has multilingual support. Unlike the traditional library authority control, where only a highly trained and certified librarian can create and update authority data, Wikidata has an open data environment. Any person can establish an account to create and add a description. Now here's an, ex an example, a simple statement with qualifier and supporting reference describing the 14th secretary of the Smithsonian Institution, Dr. Lani Bunch, who took office in 2019. The entity Lani Bunch displaying here with his variant names, the entity 
was quickly enriched with many statements describing him. Flurries of enhancement to this entity was done by anyone who is interested in Dr. Lani Bunch and has a Wikimedia account. Looking for new ways to manage name identity, learning to add edit statements in Wikidata item. The newly formed Smithsonian Library's Wikidata team quickly realized the learning curve will be up here all the way. Our years of cataloging training experiences did not quite land us on an easy path when creating editing Wikidata items. We were challenged to look at data through the lens of our users, not rules or best practices. The organization of entity description and relationship will impact access to our collections. Both the exercises that were conducted were very much unlike putting together description for authority description. One interesting fact that we have encountered is that Wikidata are seemingly comfortable with conflicting statements. A description of an entity may be at odds with another statement for the same entity. For example, the year when a person was born, is it 1911 or 12? It's perfectly acceptable in Wikidata if both statements are present. Simply states the fact with provided references, leaving the judgment to users of the data. This is one practice rather unfamiliar to us adapting, adjusting to an entity in the element-based world is, an, uh, is now an imperative task for our professional growth and development. The Smithsonian Library is rather fortunate to have an experienced Wikimedia on staff, Diane Shaw. Many library staff are also seasoned Wikipedians. Therefore, collaborative nature of Wikimedia project is second nature. The Smithsonian Library's Wikidata team had an early success for creation of a property, a P number, for an identifier for a resource held in the institution from the Wikidata community in December 2019. This early success energized the team as everyone shared the desire of expanding the value of library authority data beyond library walls. The Wikidata team experimented with the tools developed and offered by the community. These tools are the hallmark of Wikidata. Some help us integrating workflows when we prepare data for bulk query and ingest. Some help us understanding better the Wikidata model when we design our own. The more experiments that we conduct, conducted, the conviction of Wikidata perhaps might be the solution um, become more certain. In addition, it's also surfaced for us was a need of an SI wiki based in instance. The Wikimedia Deutschland developers conducted a, um, a wiki data data modeling workshop with the SI staff in June in preparation of wiki based instance that the Smithsonian team could customize so to meet the unique and complex structure of Smithsonian units and our respective collection relationship needs. With the support of the Smithsonian Office of Chief Information Officer, a wiki-based pilot server was installed in late June. Now we will be able to pilot a repository modeling names, concepts, topics meeting the Smithsonian collection needs. At this time, there are four collections identified for the Wikibase project. The art and artist file describing regional and local artists, the scientists, engineers, inventors from the scientific identity database from the portrait collection of the Dimna Library of the History of Science and Technology, and of course, the very popular research source of Smithsonian authors whose publications are recorded in our Smithsonian Research Online database. And last but not least, the Chinese Ancestors Portraits Collection from the Freer Sackler Gallery. This will enable us to test the multilingual aspect offered by the Wikibase. July is going to be an exciting time. We look very much forward to all the challenges ahead of us. Here are some of the resources that would be interesting uh, for you all to in, 
explore and hopefully it will help you embark your journey as well in the Wikidata and Wikibase environment. Please do email me if you have any more questions and thank you very much for joining us in this session.